hello guys welcome to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new yet kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop before any further i do let's get started so you can use any paper size of your choice but in this tutorial i'm going to use four by four inches so let's get started here are the tests I'm going to use and the color code. So the first thing to do, I'm going to copy this color code, Ctrl plus C to copy, then go to your solid color, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Alright, so after this one, the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring these resources which I'm going to use in this tutorial. Alright, so the first one I'm going to bring this background. Then I'll take it up over here. Then click OK. So if you want to know, then the blending mode I use in this one is pink color to pink color. Then why the opacity? is 31 it's 31 so but in this case now i'm not going to reduce the opacity i'm going to leave it because i have already done that before exporting the resources so i will leave it at 100 percent okay then after this one the next one i'm going to do bring again i'm going to bring this paper texture then I'll click OK then I'm going to change the color mode to overlay you can see then the opacity I'm going to reduce it to 83 so you can see the effect of it now and I'm going to bring this image then I will reduce the size to this area control plus zero to fit it to page so no need to blur it again because I have already blur it so the blur is 8.0 then and i'm going to change it to screen so then the opacity in this one is 18 so the opacity is 18 but in this one i'm not going to change it again because i've already done that so i will leave it at 100 percent so if you want to apply any adjustment you can only reduce it a little bit but not that much so let me say I will leave it at 67% so that it will not be much brighter. Okay. So now the next one again, I'm going to bring this image. Then I'll position it over here. Then, and I'm going to change the color mode to color dodge so you can see the effect of it so i'm going to use it color dodge all right so you leave the opacity at 100 percent then the next one again i'm going to import this one then i'm going to drag it up Then I'll leave it here. Control plus zero to fit it to page. So you can see it now. So the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to apply a color dodge on this one. So something like this. Then apply your layer mask, select your brush. 
so make sure you are using soft brush so to see soft brush go to general brush then you will see soft round brush okay then i'm going to clean up this area all right now after this one if you want you can reduce the opacity but the opacity i use on this one is 57 so if you type 57 you can see now so then after this one now then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to draw a rent angle a rent angle like this so it's not going to reach the bottom fully then i will leave it at white background color So now, after done with this one, so we are going to step two now. And the step two now is to type adding. So I'm going to my test, then I'm going to copy this text here, yeah, Ctrl plus C to copy. And the font I'm using is Unisan. Then select your test tool or press T using the keyboard. Then click, then Ctrl plus V to paste then I'm going to change the font color to white then change the font then I'm going to use the unison here then make it heavy cap then apply a character spacing here I'm going to use 140 then enter then control plus A to alight then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then control plus D to deselect now I'm going to reduce the the size of it So it's okay like this. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'll drag it down here. Then you highlight it. Then I'm going to copy my test here. Present. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay. Now the color code is not here. Then I'm going to change the color code to this color here. Then the character I use in this one is 40. So apply 40% for the character spacing. And then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. After done with this one, then the next one we are going to apply now is the topic so then come over here again to copy ctrl plus c to copy then t to select your test to then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to use white background for the font then the character spacing i'm going to use zero percent Then I will increase the size like this. Control plus A, then apply vertical alignment, control plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, control plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it down. Then come back here to copy your test. Ctrl plus C to copy, then double click to alight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then reduce the font size, it's okay like this, then Ctrl plus A to alight, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect, now you can use your arrow key to move it up this way. So like this. 
so the next one now i'm going to do then i'm going to group these two this is the topic then also group this one okay so now what we are going to do now is to to copy the team i'm going to draw a rectangle like this then i'm going to change the color to red then select your test tool then i'm going to paste so the font i'm using here is open sun then make it bold then i'm going to reduce the character spacing to zero percent then i will reduce the font size then i'm going to rotate it hold your your shift key then while rotating it then I'll position it over here. Then you can hold your control key or your shift key. Then you click on this rectangle. Then you apply vertical and horizontal alignment to centralize it properly. Then control plus G to group it. Now you can type the team. So I'm going to reduce it like this. It's okay. Then the next one again, I'm going to copy the main test. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then control plus V to paste. So here is the font I'm going to use 28 days later. So I'm going to change the font here then i'm going to scale it out the control plus a to align then apply vertical alignment to centralize it the control plus d to deselect then click on your team then use your arrow key to move it back. Then also take it upward. Then I'm going to also move this one up. All right. So now the next thing again, I'm going to duplicate before then copy this one. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then you drag it down. Then I'll position it like this. Then double click to alight. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will drag it over here to make it equal. All right. Okay. Then I'm going to change the the font color then to this color here so you can see the present color here so i'm going to click on it to apply the color then click on the breaking then select your font color then i'm going to copy the color from here okay so after this one the next one again is to apply your effects so then go to blending option then select your drop shadow then i'm going to use multiply then the the opacity here is going to be 100 then i will leave the distance at 9 the spread 15 then the size 18 
then make sure that the angle is 90 degree okay then the next one again is satin then apply satin then i'll leave it at this color which you are seeing here so this is red then the opacity i'm going to leave it at 50 then the angle 90 degree then the distance then the distance leave it at 43 and the size leave it at 70. so you can see the contour here then i'm using this contour here from now then you go to inner glow so you can see the change change it there so when i click off you can see now you can see the changes so here is normal why the opacity is 100 percent and the noise is 21 then the color i use you can see the color code here this is f e d377 so then you click ok so before then i'll also i'm going to add bevel and a box so this is inner bevel then the techniques i'm going to use smooth then leave the depth at 74 and the size 79 then leave the softness at zero then leave it a rest and click ok so what i'm going to do now is to right click then copy the layer style then go over here then right click and you paste the layer style so that is all now i'm going to select the two and i'm going to group it ctrl plus g to group it okay so having done that one so the next step now is the pastor so here are the code i use for the test effects let's go to the pastor now okay before then i'm going to bring the image then reduce the size then i'll position it over here i'll leave it this way okay then i'm going to apply before that i'm going to copy this color copy this color here ctrl plus c then apply a solid color then ctrl plus v to paste the solid color you copy now go to your blending mode and select hue then right click and create a clipping mask now then go to opacity and reduce it to 71 percent okay then i'm going to copy this test now with then select your test tool then i will paste it around here ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to use the font open sun then make it bold then you reduce the size so you leave it with the color then then i'm going to copy the pastor name ctrl plus c here is the code for the for this one that is width then i'm going to select my test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to change the font to unison then make it heavy italic then change the font color to white 
and reduce the font size. Okay, then I'm going to select these two. I'll bring it over here. Then select your test tool. Then you copy the dates. Control plus C to copy. Then select the pastor. Then you group it. Then bring this icon. Reduce the size. Then press Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then you drag the brightness to white. Then you click OK. Now, then you can paste the text you copy. Then change the font to unison. Then make it heavy italic. Now you scale it out. Like this, then I'm going to duplicate this one, then Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then I'll drag it out up here, then bring it over here, double click to alight it, then copy December. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you move it over here. Then I'm going to increase the size this way. Then I'm going to alight this one. Then come over here, apply superscript. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this test. Then use your arrow key to bring it down. Now Come over here to drag this icon, then reduce the size. Then you bring it around here. Press Ctrl plus U on your keyboard, then you drag the brightness to white, then you click OK. Then come over here to copy your test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then click on this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I will now drag it up. Then you bring it here. Then select your test. Then alight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select AM. Then you reduce the font size of AM. Something like this is okay. Okay, so as you can see now, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring this location icon. Then I will reduce the size. Then go back to your test, copy the location, Ctrl plus C, then select your test to the Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change 
the font color to black then come over here then you reduce the space then I'm going to change the font to unison then make it bold then come back to your spacing then you reduce it 5% is ok Control plus 0 to fit to page then use your arrow key to bring it down this way so you can increase the size then this logo here I'm going to reduce the size this way then ok alright now the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to group this to then time so now I'm going to bring this light here then scale it out then change the blending mode to screen then I'm going to apply blur Gaussian blur 5.4 is ok then I'll drag it into my main test then apply your layer mask select your brush make sure that here is black then I will clean over here then I can increase it more and I'll drag it and position it here all right here we have come to an end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification to get notified anytime i upload a new video